Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world, welcome. I'm so thrilled you're able to join us today. I feel both honored and truly humbled to represent an incredible team today. And as we assembled as a team, and actually as we came together as a company, and thinking about the beginning of the next generation of Windows. You know, a big part of defining the future is always about understanding the past, especially in product making. And when you think about it, Windows has been part of our lives for 35 years. 30, that's incredible, right? 35 years. It's been a driving force for innovation. It's been an enduring platform for creation. It's been home to billions to help us do our jobs, live our dreams, and connect with people we love. And for me, for me, as I personally reflect on the history of Windows, and as we as a team think about designing its future, it keeps bringing me back, it, it keeps reminding me, this is my home. This is a photo of the house I grew up in, and it's the place that my parents, they still live today. And even though it's changed, it's been renovated, still, to this day, the minute I step inside, it feels right. It feels familiar. You know, it feels like home. But it, it's not just about this physical space. It's the feeling that I get when I'm there, the people, the connections, the growth. And for you, it might not be about the house you grew up in. It might be a town, it might be your college, it might be a library, it might be a restaurant, a bar, it might be your gym. It could be anywhere, but what it really is, it's a place you can always find your way back. It's a space where we always know our way around. That's inspiring to me and that's what windows should feel like. It should feel familiar, it should feel secure. It should feel open, connected, especially right now, especially in these times of change. These last 18 months have shown us quite a bit and the PC has played a role to help each one of us, whether it's with work or learning or connecting with each other. You might be doing emails, you might be having meetings, you might be having classes on your PC. But it's actually become so much more than that, hasn't it? I mean, for me, for others, for some it's become the office banter place. For others, it's become where you do your happy hours. For me, it's where I've done pizza parties with my team. <laughs> it's where my daughter graduated. And for many, it's where they celebrated their holidays. And during that time, we learned something we learned something incredibly powerful, not just how functional and practical the PC needs to be. And believe me, we understand that and we know the responsibility of that more than we ever have before, but it also must be personal, more personal. And maybe most importantly, it must feel emotional. This is what inspired us to build the windows of tomorrow. To build you a place, a space that feels familiar, where you can create, learn, play, produce, and maybe most importantly, connect in all new ways. Right now, I'm so pumped in representing the team and introducing you to Windows 11 the windows that brings you closer to the things you love.
Incredible. We're so excited. The team put so much into this. We can't wait to share it with you. Windows 11, modern, fresh, clean, beautiful. From the lock screen to Windows Hello, Windows 11 welcomes you. We put start at the center. It puts you at the center. It's what you need closer to you, simplified. It's cloud powered to serve you the docs and the apps you need. And the details matter. It is the details that enable you to get to that emotional space in connection with the product, to be able to produce and get the work you need done. The team obsessed over every pixel, like the way the light moves across the icons, the transparencies that guide you, the colors, the textures, they feel real. The transitions are beautiful and you can feel their elegance. We redesigned the themes. We looked at light mode, dark mode, tuning the contrast with the materials so the content stands out. You'll notice the rounded corners throughout the entire product. The softer visuals, they happen on the apps that you open as well. And when we talk about the materials coming together seamlessly, this is what we mean. Watch as I open what looks like a sheet of glass that slides over the top of the product. It helps you understand at all times where you are. And sometimes getting you the inspiration and information that you need when you need it. It's what helps you be productive and creative. All of these details coming together, the transitions, the user interface, how it all flows together is meant to bring you an incredible sense of calm. Now we talk about Windows 11 being beautiful on the outside, but it's also beautiful on the inside. The product is faster, waking from sleep is faster, Windows Hello is faster, browsing on Edge is faster, browsing on any browser is faster, actually, which is just awesome. Windows updates, let's just, Windows updates are 40% smaller and they're more efficient as they happen in the background. The product uses less energy, which gives you more battery life and makes Windows more responsible. And maybe most important, Windows 11 is the most secure Windows yet. All of this craftsmanship, from the details of design through the performance, they come together to empower you to produce and inspire you to create, to really understand its beauty. You have to see how it feels. For over 1.3 billion people around the world, Windows is what inspires us to imagine, to create, and ultimately, to get things done. With Windows 11, we made it faster and simpler to get started, to get organized, and to get back into what you were doing. Also that you can be your most productive and creative. The new start menu with its simple, clean, and beautiful centered layout is optimized so you can find what you need quickly. Use the search bar to find things anywhere on your PC, OneDrive, and the web. Use the recommended section to jump right back to editing. Start utilizes the cloud and the power of M365 so you can see your recent files, no matter what platform or device you were viewing them on earlier. In fact, I was looking at this power and simplicity document on my phone this morning. And now with just one tap, I'm right back into it. We're also making it easier to get started with new multitasking experiences. Windows has always been about helping you work how you want by offering the flexibility of using multiple windows on your screen. The ability to snap two apps side by side has helped busy Windows users for years. My team and I took the challenge to make an even more powerful way to help you create and be productive. Introducing Snap Layouts. New on Windows 11, layouts tailored to the size of your screen. Pick the layout that suits you, and with a couple of clicks, you're set up to do your best work. And Windows is gonna remember this. You'll see what I mean in a sec. This is complexity made simple, but deceptively simple because nobody else lets you do this with this many windows. With the new start menu and snap layouts, it's effortless to find what you need to get set up and get started. Next, I wanna show you how Windows helps you get back 
to where you were. Just when you get all settled in and organized and ready to work, along comes the inevitable interruption, a personal email that I need to reply to right away. Now with Windows 11, when you return to what you were doing after handling the interruption, or even when you return to the PC after being away from it for a while, you don't have to remember where you were or waste time setting things back up. Not anymore. This is Snap Groups, the collections of apps that I was using, sitting right here in the taskbar. Windows remembers and keeps them for me. I can get to it right from the taskbar where I'm already going to switch apps. And because they're right on the taskbar, you can now choose to switch between apps or entire projects. This is next level task switching. Bringing multiple windows back together is something you can only do on Windows. Sometimes switching projects or tasks means switching locations, like taking a call in a quieter space. So if you're not docking yet, and pro tip, you really should be, an extra monitor gives you more screen space to spread out and you have the convenience of taking your device with you. When you do need to move around, the windows on your monitor minimize to your laptop so they don't disturb what you were doing. And now with Windows 11, and this is where the magic really happens, when you reconnect, everything is back where you had it before. No more trying to remember what you were doing. No more reconfiguring your layout. It's just right back to the way that you had it. So relax and get right back to doing. With Snap Groups and the new docking and undocking experience, it's easier than ever to get back to being your most productive and creative. I also wanna show you two ways we're making it easier to always know where you are in Windows and in experiences like Microsoft Edge. As we research and watch videos and shop in the browser, it's easy to get lost in a bunch of tabs. With one click, you can switch to vertical tabs which makes it easy to find exactly what you're looking for. The second way we're making it easier to know where you are is with desktops. We designed desktops to help you stay organized and focused. Each desktop can display a different set of apps so that you can make separate rooms for the different parts of your life. With Windows 11, you can now personalize each of your desktops with custom wallpapers so that each desktop can be its own place with its own look and purpose. You can have one for home, one for school, one for work. You can even have one for gaming. Have as many as you need. Desktops are an easy way to help you stay organized and focused. They're different expressions of you designed for the different parts of your life. The team and I are grateful, so grateful, that many of you choose Windows as your place to be creative and to get things done. We took aim at complexity and we brought you simplicity. We cannot wait to see what you do with Windows 11. That was just awesome. I am so inspired to make products with Carmen and the team. Snap layouts, docking. I mean, these features, I'm pumped. I can't wait for you to try them. And for me, I have to tell you, they have changed my workflow on a daily basis. And they work, they work incredibly well. But it's not just about productivity. It's not just about creativity. Beyond those things, there's another critical part of Windows. And we said we want to bring you closer to the things you love. Connecting to people is at the top of that list. Now, during the pandemic, for me, it was a pretty interesting time. I connected with my family more face-to-face -face than I had in quite some time. I mean, think about how many connections we all made. And whether it was on Zoom or Skype or Teams, we've connected with friends and family and loved ones all around the globe through our PCs. On Teams, my family and I would get together regularly and it was pretty inspiring, it really did. You start using it and it changed the way you think about connecting with family. It was almost like, why weren't we doing this before? I'm closer with my family in Cyprus now than I ever was. But don't get me wrong. I mean, I wanna hug them. I do, I wanna be with them, I wanna be next to them. But at the same time, I don't wanna lose this opportunity to connect with them on the PC, the way we've been connecting and getting closer. It's almost, it's almost like we found a new tradition, which is why I'm super excited today to announce to you Teams integration directly into Windows. Now, 
you can connect with one touch, the icon, front and center, on the taskbar. It's just fast and you're in. You can chat, call, video call with anyone, anywhere in the world. And no matter what platform you're using, it doesn't matter. Any device you're using, it doesn't matter. That's so important to understand. Whether you're on Windows or iOS or Android, it doesn't matter. What's amazing is that with one touch around the world, you connect with the people you love. Teams is near and dear to my heart, no doubt. And just like Windows brings you closer to the people you love, it also will bring you closer to the information you both want and need. I want to introduce you to a new feature, Windows Widgets. You saw this earlier, it's this beautiful sheet of glass. Windows Widgets is a new personalized feed powered by AI serving you curated content so you can take a break at any time or just get some inspiration without ever losing your place. These and other innovations in touch, pen, voice, mouse, keyboard, they all come to life to help Windows adapt to you. Adaptability, flexibility, and versatility are key to creating even more personal computing. So to make Windows 11 something beautiful that works better with you and for you, we've redesigned the experience of Windows without a keyboard, so it adapts to you instead of the other way around. We've refined the ways you interact with your PC to give you the flexibility to work how you want. And we've created new experiences to make Windows your go-to, not just for productivity, but also content and entertainment. So first, adaptability. I have a two-in-one because I didn't want to also buy a tablet. But to be honest, I never use it without the keyboard because it feels too different. Windows 11 always feels like Windows. And you'll see what I'm talking about as soon as you detach your keyboard. It's the same beautiful centered taskbar, just with a touch more space between the icons. We've added bigger touch targets and subtle visual cues to make resizing and moving Windows easier. You still have Snap to make the most of your screen and when you rotate, not only is it smooth, but we've stacked them on top of each other because it just makes sense. We've also added gestures because we know how important they are, especially when you don't have a keyboard. And they're the same ones you use on the trackpad today. So you don't have to relearn how to use your device. It's a consistent experience with subtle differences to make Windows adapt to you. Next, we've refined the different ways that you can interact with your PC so you can use it however you want to. Many of you like to use a pen because it's a great way to sketch out ideas or 
highlight, and take notes. With Windows 11, we're enabling haptics to make using your pen even more engaging and immersive. I cannot wait for you to get your hands on one of these because it's amazing to feel and hear the vibrations as you click and edit and write and sketch. Or you can use the new touch keyboard, which is amazing. There are new themes, so you can make it yours. It might even feel like the one you have on your phone. You can swipe with your thumb, use the space bar as a cursor, and it wouldn't be complete without emojis and GIFs. And last but certainly not least, voice typing. Arguably the fastest way to get your ideas down on paper. Windows 11 is so good at recognizing what you say. And it can automatically punctuate for you. Cool, right? And there are voice commands. Delete that. And finally, we've created new experiences to make Windows more versatile. Not just a place for productivity, but also your go-to for content and entertainment. Anytime I'm on my PC, I could check stuff like my calendar, the weather, and the news. Instead, I normally pick up my phone because it feels quicker and doesn't mess with what I have on my desktop. This great new feature called Widgets keeps you up to date with the stuff that matters to you without you having to lose your place. It slides over your desktop, and you can use it like this, or you can make it full screen to see everything at once. You can rearrange and resize your widgets to quickly check everything from calendar to traffic to the latest in esports. But my favorite part is the newsfeed. And I think you're gonna love it too, because it adapts to you and what's important to you and delivers stories that might interest you. Whether that's international politics, tech, or the local news to help you stay close to your community, which means a lot to me, personally. And not only can I stay up to date, I can even support local content creators and authors by giving them a tip. The last way I wanna show you how we're making Windows 11 great for entertainment is in the Microsoft Store. We've redesigned the Entertainment tab to bring you top movies and TV shows from across streaming services, all in one place. Then you can either cuddle up in bed or project to your TV with Wireless Connect. Windows 11 makes the PC even more personal by adapting to you, empowering you to work and create however you like, and by giving you the best of productivity and entertainment all in one place. So as you move through your day, Windows 11 moves with you. All right, that was amazing stuff. I wanna take just a few more seconds talking about the feed and the Windows platform and just thinking about it. Think about the size and scale of the Windows platform and the opportunity to open up to local content creators and global brands alike. This is inspiring to me. It's good for both creators, it's good for consumers, and we're just at the beginning of opening up new real estate within Windows. All right, now let's switch gears for just a second. I wanna to talk to you about something awesome, gaming. If you're a gamer, Windows 11, it was made for you. And the best person to tell you about it is my good friend and colleague, Sarah Bond. Thanks, Panos. I'm thrilled to be here today to share the latest gaming innovations in Windows 11. Gaming has always been fundamental to what Windows is all about. We build Windows to be a magical place where everyone can play, connect, and create. The Windows legacy is one of innovation through collaboration, breaking down barriers, crossing divides, and bringing all creators and players together in a limitless world. Our commitment to boundless creator and player experiences is fundamental to what we do. And for me, this commitment is personal because Windows is where I learned to play. My first memory of playing a game is with my dad when I was seven years old, playing King's Quest II on his IBM PC. I remember the joy of navigating the epic character of King Graham through the 2D world of Daventry. And I chuckle now when I realize that my dad was just getting me to practice reading when he insisted that I read the dialogue out loud. Now, 
When I play games with my daughter, it always transports me back to that time. It feels like home. Today, hundreds of millions of people around the globe game on Windows, and the next generation can connect with their loved ones through play, just like I do. And while the 8-bit world I explored with my dad felt huge to my seven-year-old eyes, the universes we all get to explore now are truly vast, beautiful, and impactful. With superior graphics, amazing speed, and an incredible selection of games, Windows 11 delivers the best PC gaming experiences yet. And that is why I am delighted to share what Windows 11 means for the future of gaming. First, superior graphics. Games can look better than ever on Windows 11 thanks to Auto HDR, which automatically updates your game's lighting and color to high dynamic range. We introduced this tech in our Xbox consoles and got an incredible response from creators and players. It's just awesome to bring this to Windows 11. The results can be dramatic. Just check out this side-by-side -side comparison of Skyrim from our own Bethesda Game Studios. On the left, you can see the game running in SDR, and on the right, in Auto HDR. The colors and lighting are much more vibrant and lifelike with HDR, elevating the visual fidelity. The difference is stunning. Over a thousand games, including Age of Empires Definitive Edition, Rocket League, DayZ, and even Doom 64 will be automatically enhanced on Windows 11 devices that support HDR. And all of this with no effort required from the player or the developer. It just works. Next, amazing speed. With top performing PCs running Windows 11, new games can load faster than ever thanks to a breakthrough technology called direct storage, which we first pioneered in the Xbox Series X and S. With direct storage, games can quickly load assets to the graphics card without bogging down the CPU. This means you get to experience incredibly detailed game worlds rendered at lightning speeds without long load times. Direct storage optimized Windows 11 PCs are configured with the hardware and drivers needed to enable this amazing experience. But you all know, even the best graphics and speed are nothing without play. Which brings me to the final and most important thing of all games. That's why we created Xbox Game Pass, built right into Windows 11 through the Xbox app. Game Pass is a membership built to bring the power of games to everyone. For a low monthly price, you have full access to a library of hundreds of games. The Game Pass library is incredible. It includes PC games from both Xbox Game Studios and Bethesda the day they launch, all of EA Play, and a great selection of third-party titles from developers big and small, with more entering every single month. And with Xbox Cloud Gaming integrated, we've made it possible to play the highest fidelity games on all PCs. Also, because of our commitment to player-first innovations like cross-play and cross-save, you can play these games seamlessly across devices with a global community of millions of players. Game Pass is simply the best way to discover and play your next favorite game. And for those favorites you want to keep, you can also buy them straight from the Xbox app with just the click of a button. Whatever you're in the mood for, whether it's an action game like Halo, a grand strategy game like Crusader Kings 3, or an indie legend like Undertale, we've got you covered. And because Windows has the broadest hardware support in the world, you can connect millions of gaming peripherals and accessories so you can game the way you want. Everything from Bluetooth controllers, mechanical keyboards, the Xbox adaptive controller, and surround sound headsets, to flight sticks, driving wheels, and external GPUs. From the team that has always been committed to unleashing creativity, connection, and play, 
we bring you the best windows ever for gaming. Superior graphics, amazing speed, and incredible games. Welcome to Windows 11. Thank you, Sarah. That was amazing. Gaming is awesome. We've seen a lot today. We've gone through productivity, creativity, versatility in gaming. But when you think about it, it's always about apps. And Windows has always been about apps. This is why we've rebuilt the Microsoft Store from the ground up, and we built it for speed. And it is beautiful. Oh, that's cool. I love seeing Disney Plus in the store. The store is so simple to use, search is incredible, and it's still the safest and most secure way for you to get your apps on Windows. And we're making sure every app you need is there to create, learn, do, and play the way you want to. Now for the developers out there, let me talk to you. First, you're our heroes. What you do, what you build, I mean, I gotta tell you, it inspires us. But we also want you to be able to bring any technology, the technology that you love, to the store. Whether you've already built it or you're building it now, and it's a PWA or a Win32 app or a UWP, we just want to make it easier for you to bring it to the store. That's our goal. We also want to help you build your business. And whether you use the commerce engine that we help you with, and you want industry leading rev share from that, or bring your own commerce engine. And if you do bring your own commerce engine, you keep 100% of your revenue. We keep zero. A great example of where all this store technology comes together is with Adobe, who are just doing amazing work, bringing the creative cloud and document cloud directly to the Microsoft store through their subscription services, across a suite of app technology from UWP to PWA and Win32. We are really excited to expand this partnership with Adobe and to see what developers around the world will create in the Microsoft Store. Because what you do inspires us and we wanna help. Now, to learn more about it, we have a session for developers later today and we are excited to take a deeper dive. Please join us. Okay, before we move on from the store, just one more small surprise. Android apps coming to Windows. And I mean coming to Windows. They can be integrated into Start. They'll be integrated in your taskbar. You can window the way Carmen showed you earlier with these apps. And for me, like one of my favorite apps is TikTok, it's true. And they're discoverable through the Microsoft Store using the Amazon App Store. It's really cool. And we use Intel Bridge technology to bring it to life so it's just seamless and smooth. And these integrated apps, I mean, it's just, it, what it does is it brings you into Windows from the most professional editing apps all the way through to the most casual apps you can think of when you lean back on the couch the way Philip had showed you to just let Windows adapt to what you do. We love this. We love that the Microsoft Store continues to be more open inviting our developers in, inviting more apps into the store, inviting you as our customers to use any app that you love. Now, we're also excited that our hardware partners are ready. Now, we know how important the intersection of hardware and software is on these products. And that always, always starts with the silicon. And our partners, from Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm have been designing with us since day one to bring these products to life for you. 
focusing on battery life, performance, touch, pen, all these innovations and the subtleties in between that you need to bring these products to life are all being designed. As a matter of fact, what Intel's doing right now with their 11th gen processor is just awesome. With hundreds of designs coming this holiday, we're super excited. We also have the largest hardware ecosystem on the planet. Between Dell, HP, Lenovo, Samsung, and of course Surface from day one have been designing products with Windows 11 to bring that elegance to the forefront, to help us build technology for you that will disappear so you can do your best work. What's incredible about this open hardware ecosystem is it brings you choice where you can pick the product that you love most with Windows 11. Go out today and get your Windows 11 ready PC. We hope you loved what you saw today. And uh, I know it was a lot, there's no doubt. And over the last year, uh, the team and I, this incredible team that brings all this passion to this product have realized Windows, it's, it's more than just an operating system. It's fabric woven in our lives, in our work. It's how we connect with people. It's how we learn. It's how we work. It's how we play. And through all this time, it has stayed familiar. And yet, it has continued to evolve with us. It feels a lot like home. Thanks again for joining us today. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to my friend, Satya. Thank you so much, Panos. I'm really excited to be here with you all. Today marks a major milestone in the history of Windows. It's the beginning of a new generation. I'm excited by what we have shown you today and how we are reimagining everything from the operating system itself to the browser to the store and the feed. And I want to reflect briefly on how we got here. Throughout its history, Windows has been a democratizing force for the world. Windows has created entirely new categories for both consumers and businesses. It's led to many of the world's most successful software categories from communications and productivity to design and business applications, each of which has created their own ecosystems. The web itself was born and grew up on Windows. It's driven silicon innovation and device innovation. It's enabled so many people, including hobbyists, students, developers, and entrepreneurs to all dream big, turn their ideas into reality, and monetize their creation. Windows has always stood for sovereignty for creators and agency for consumers. With Windows, you can consume apps and build apps. You can play games and design games. You can buy a PC and build a PC. You can join your community and create your community. You can buy from a business and start your own business. With Windows 11, we have a renewed sense of Windows's role in the world. As I look ahead, I see three clear opportunities. First, Windows recognizes that there is no personal computing without personal agency. Personal computing requires choice, and we need to nurture and grow our own agency over computing itself. We want to remove the barriers that too often exist today and provide real choice and connection. We need to be empowered to choose the applications we run, the content we consume, the people we connect to, and even how we allocate our own attention. Operating systems and devices should mold to our needs, not the other way around. That's why we are making it easier for you to connect with the people you want, the content you want, the apps you want across all devices you want. Second, Windows is the stage for the world's creation. As a creator, every time you pick up a Windows device, it becomes a stage for your inspiration so you can dream big and create something profound and lasting. 
Creation is going through a sea change as the balance between consumption and creation changes. With this new generation of windows, we are unleashing the innovation and ingenuity inherent in each of us. We want to foster these virtuous loops between content, consumption, and commerce driven by communities for everyone. These cycles should flow freely, giving people frictionless access to apps, files, games, movies, shows, content, and communities that matter to them. We want to empower you to produce and inspire you to create. It's why we're introducing a complete new user experience in helping you be more productive. And finally, Windows isn't just an operating system. It's a platform for platform creators. It allows for the broadest of design spaces, enabling people to build their own businesses and communities. Today, the world needs a more open platform, one that allows apps to become platforms in their own right. Windows is a platform where things that are bigger than Windows can be born, like the web. That's our aspiration with Windows 11, to be the platform for the next web, the next transformational software category, the next personalized content business. A platform can only serve society if its rules allow for this foundational innovation in category creation. It's why we're introducing new store commerce models and policies and creating new opportunities for local publishers and supporting even more apps with Android apps on Windows. This is the first version of a new era of Windows. We're building for the next decade and beyond. And when I reflect on those chapters to come, I'm reminded of an analogy from a 19th century philosopher who compared creators to objects in our solar system. He wrote about meteors that flash but fade away, planets that burn longer but whose energy is confined to their own orbit, and compared them to stars that are constant and light the path of their own. That's our ambition with Windows, to help other stars and entire constellations to be born and thrive. I'm incredibly proud of what Windows has achieved and how it has fostered lasting opportunity for others. And I look forward to seeing what you achieve with Windows 11 and how it will unlock enduring opportunity for people in the world. Thank you all very, very much.